All right, we're back on the trap line here. We're actually gonna be pulling the traps today. So this is going to be our last trap check for Martin and coyote season. Season's done at the end of the month of February here. We're gonna be starting to prep for uh, spring goose, which is coming up in a couple of weeks here. So spring goose hunting and uh, start prepping for some spring trapping, raccoons, yeah, muskrats, muskrats beavers. beavers, all that jazz. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do our last check here at this trap line, Martin and coyote. Hopefully we get something today, not just another squirrel, but uh, yeah, man, like it's been been tough because we've only had a month basically on this trap line. It was, uh, we set it up pretty late this season, so just one month. We've caught, you know, a couple squirrels here and there, but uh, no marten, no coyotes yet. Hopefully we get something today. You got that one? I'll check this one. Oh yeah? Let's see. Come on, be a Martin. Not a Martin, not a squirrel. Who is it? Oh, hell yeah. Not a squirrel. Something nice. A, a weasel. That's sweet. Actually, like a decent ish size one. Not the longest, but like nice and. That's cool. That's a dick. First time I've seen a weasel. Very cool. Sure. Leaving the box there, right? Yeah. Just taking the yeah, trap. See the box, yeah. Can I see that guy? Yeah. yeah. See, these are his tracks right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's not even full. Yeah, there is there is his tracks right there. Coming up to the trap. Nice little weasel right there. That's awesome. First time seeing a weasel. Finally, we got something besides a squirrel. Yeah. Let's go! Oh no way, this one's set off too! Hell yeah, let's go! Oh, he just got the bait. Oh! So something did have it. Yeah, something yeah. did take the bait. Probably a squirrel dragging it. Because usually it probably would have happened, he would have been like this, dragging it out. Yeah. And the bait hit the trigger. The bait caught the trigger there. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Our last check, and we're finally starting to catch stuff. Yeah, it's warm weather, probably got the scent going on a little bit more. Yeah. We used to always have that, like, when you're trapping the dust, but it hit like minus like 40 for yeah. a bit. It was basically like not even worth going out because nothing's so moving. And nothing, like, even uh, like the scent, you couldn't smell the scent. It was just pretty solid. Yeah. And we had like a plus two yesterday. Super warm yesterday. Like this guy's a fresh catch, look. Yeah, like he's, yeah. You he's can, not even fully you frozen. Can, you can squeeze his. Yeah. Probably last night or this morning. Yeah. Sweet. One weasel right there. That's a good start. That's a good start. This one didn't look set off. No. Nothing in this one. Was the bait still there? No, the bait's gone. Well, there's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Even then, mice will also. Wonder how long that bait's been gone for, because. We've yeah. always just been looking Checking at this one from the road. the road. Nothing. Blank on these guys. Bait still there. All right, have to check the coyote snares and the other Martin box over here. We have seen wolf tracks in this area though. So I think if there's wolves in the area, they might have been pushing the coyotes out. So yeah, this snare, nothing on this guy. So 
able to take this down and small one underneath it. Yeah. Mm. Nothing in that guy. We'll go ahead and take this trap down. Unsprung. Look at all this little tracks in the distance. Bunch of tracks oh, yeah. underneath it though. You seen this? They chipped away at it. Yeah, they ate the huh. whole insides of it out. They managed to slink right past. Yeah, squirrels can get uh, Yeah. Another blank. Dang it. Oh yeah, you can see all the mouse shit in this one. I'm guessing that the uh, mice got in there. They probably did the same thing. I don't know, I still got a lot of it left. Yeah. Ooh, I really smell the Martin Magic in this one. Yeah. We're headed out to the second trap line. Check that, hopefully we got something here too. See here, nope. You still set. Dang it, nothing here. This one looks like it is unsprung. Oh. I haven't caught anything on this on this line. The other line did uh, did better with a few catches. We are at last set of traps here at the other uh, coyote bait. We've got three three snares over here or four, and then um, a marten box. But uh, yeah, let's see if we got anything here. Snare. That snare still set. Look at the rabbit here. Oh no, this is a deer hide. They got all they got both the rabbits that we threw in there. Got snare set. We got some pee out this way. Check that Martin box out. Dang it, looks like it's still set. All right, well, before we go here, since we're pulling the traps out right now, I'll show you guys how a power ram snare works here. So he gets through there, it's caught, just tight around his neck. Oh, it broke the stick, but uh, either way, it holds it like that. And then when he goes, you yeah, can pull. It's all tightened up. He can pull as much as he wants on that. All it's gonna do is choke him quicker. Yeah. You can see even with the stick, which is a lot smaller than the coyote's neck, that is tight. Yeah. So that's actually cutting off the blood flow, not the air. And then they're supposed to be unconscious in like 100 seconds or less. 
and they can fight that all they want. Like it's, I'm not a small guy and it takes actually a fair bit to fight these things. Usually you can't find them and they're just laying on the trail still. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of a fight into them is all. So for all the people that say trapping is inhumane, that is not inhumane. Like they're out in, you said 100 seconds? Yeah, it's supposed to be like 100 seconds or some of that. Like when that spring goes, that's it. And then Their blood it. flow is cut. Yeah, it's not actually choking them. It's the yeah. blood supply that gets cut off. So they're unconscious pretty much right away. Yeah, reset it. Poison the one where the guy uses your knee. Yeah. At this side, so if it goes off, this is going to pop away. Ideally, you would want to be using uh, power ram safeties. Yeah, ideally. <laughs> I have I have a pair actually I think I have two pairs but I always get lost. So don't do what we do and uh, actually use safeties. But uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for Martin and Coyote trapping season. Um, we're pulling all the traps already today. Um, we're gonna head home. We're gonna get ready for spring conservation geese hunting, which is coming up in about two weeks. Um, and then after that, we're gonna set up for spring trapping once we uh, once starts warming up a little bit more and then ice and the snow starts to melt. We'll set up uh, spring traps, uh, spring trap lines for raccoons, beavers, muskrats. So definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see more trapping videos as well. And stay tuned for some goose hunting videos. That's going to be coming up pretty soon. So you've caught coyotes in that exact spot before in yeah. past seasons. Yeah, that's like with uh, spending two, three weeks of feeding them and then setting up. Yeah. We only had a month, so I think yeah. we'd set them up earlier. Yeah. So I guess the main factor was why we didn't catch any coyotes this time was usually uh, Devin would be baiting them for two, three weeks yeah, before even setting the traps. Get them coming into it, and then they, they're already used to the trails, and they think it's safe, and then you set up on the trails. Yeah. But then, but then, yeah, but we set up the trap line late this season, so hopefully we'll do better next year.